Hello everyone and welcome to Dream Crypto Mining. Today I will do a video how you config the new Raptorium miner that they have released, the 1.2.2. I will also show you how you go over from the 1.9 to the 1.2.2. So, first of all, go to their homepage, go to download. CPU miner. First of all, we can go through that the new miner have some problem on the R plant pool. So if you are mining to R plant, I would suggest that you still keep using the 1.9 version until they fix it in the 1.2.2. And for you that still use 1.2 in Windows and will go over to a new miner, you will have to retune the, yeah, get the CPU again. And you that are using 1.2 can just uh, copy everything over to the 1.2.2. I will show you how to do it. So you can also install it in HiOS if you want to. And here is a guide for it. I will not show it this time, but if you if you are interesting, let me know so I will show you. But first of all, in Windows, so you scroll down, download Windows version, and then we will jump over to the download folder. So here we are. So right click, extract. I'm using 7-zip and before I, we go to the new miner I will show you how it looks in 1.1.9 the older one here you had the pool your wallet address your name the config full, full tune And that here you did start it. If you had an Intel like this one, if you have a AMD 3900, you are using this one. So back to the not the newest version, but the version before 120. Those configuration are the same, the 122 and 120. So, here we had the JSON file. It looked like this. Here you will set your pool. They also have a backup pool. I suggest that you are using same pool here, so you don't be so you don't get any confusion, or it's starting jumping over to the backup pool. So same pool. Wallet address name here you change for the full tune this will at the beginning stand as false so we change it to true save it so and you start the miner from this file right click run as an administrator So, that's how you set up for the new version. If you want to go over from 120 to 122, you are doing like this. I will just show you how it's looked like in default. Same settings, you see, the same setup. Here you have it on default, it's flock pool on both. Here you see it's turn view, false. So the easiest way to go over for 120 is just to copy the JSON file over to your new miner. Yes. And we 
go back to 120 and we get our tune config file. Just a tip if you are changing your overclock a lot or trying some new overclocks for your CPU, if you already have tuned it on one frequency, you can save it, the tuning file. Just make a new folder that you can name like tuning and then you name it on what uh, core clock you're using. So in that case, when you go back to a core clock, you don't have to retune it again. You can just copy in the tune config that you are, or have already run. So, so get the tune config fork with the new miner. Copy it. Go back. Paste it in here. I will just show you from the beginning. If I run this. It will not let me. So, let me show you. But before I start, I did see that I typed true. <laughs> Wrong. So it didn't start for me the first time. So, I will show you now. I have no, no config file. So right click. Run as administrator. And you see, could not load the config file. Tune config. Close it. So, I will just paste in the tune config file. And we will restart it again. And now you can see, it's finding and loading the tune, cube, tune config file. So, we will close it so I don't interrupt with the recording so this was all for me if you like this please like and subscribe for more and until next time have an awesome day bye bye